into your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water, my friend. Hi guys, and welcome to the five brainless minutes of building connections podcast. And with us today, we have the Blue Genie and Prince Ali. Yo yo yo. And today we're talking about dealing with fake people. Dealing with fake people. It's a major topic, man. What is what is a fake people to you? <laughs> what, fake. Well, for me, the uh, definition of a fake people is anyone who is a real fucker. <laughs> F-A-K-E, fucker. So they are faker. <laughs> they are fakers, right? So they, 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 they say something, but they don't mean it. They, they are your friends, but they're just there to screw you in the back. They stab you in the back. Or they don't, they don't mean what they say. Um, and, and, and these are the people sometimes can be closest to you. Mm. Um, they get very close to you. They get up personal. They want to mm. have... A uh, closed relationship, but does not necessarily mean there's a meaningful relationship. So they always have a, a hidden agenda, so to speak. So to speak, some kind of hidden agenda. Well, so let's talk about now that we know pretty much what kind of person these fake people mm-hmm. are. Let's talk about some uh, ways that we want to deal with them. What would be your take? I will try as much as possible to avoid them at all costs because you don't want to be around negative energies mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. No, no, no. Detox, we talk about. I hear you, yes. That, so avoiding these people are, is probably the easiest way to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's one of the principles of martial arts. A lot of people thought that martial arts means you, you, you get to exercise the power, mm-hmm. but no, martial arts just say that you have a power to defend, mm-hmm. but you try to avoid them as much as possible. I agree, and the best battle is the battle that is not happening. Correct. So the best battle, you're absolutely right. The best battle is the one that never happened yes. at all. Right. So number one, so, so step one, dealing with fake people, avoid them. Um, number two, if you really can't avoid them, mm-hmm. let's say they are in your family, mm. oh, keep it short. Keep it short. Keep it short. Keep it, keep it like really simple and you know, snappy and like on. you know, okay, Just right. Move mm-hmm, on. Mm-hmm. So there, there are times if you ever. <laughs> So this is a tip about me. So if you ever encountered me, right, and if I talk to you or you talk to me, um, well, it has not happened to you, but uh, but if, <laughs> if you ever notice if I talk to someone and my response is, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what kind of person you are to me. <laughs> yes, and if I'm next to you and I see that response to you, don't worry, I'll save you. I'll bring that person away. All right, fantastic. <laughs> so number two, if you can't avoid them, keep it short. Number three, don't let them get to you because Ooh. your inner peace mm-hmm. matters most. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. So sometimes um, fake people tend to be real energy drainers. Mm-hmm. And they I are call two- them energy suckers. Energy suckers, right? Yeah, and there are two types. One, I think because they can't help it. Mm-hmm. For them to function, they need to drain your batteries. Mm, yep, I like mean, parasites. They, they're, they're, they're not parasites. They are just feeding off your energy. Mm. But the second one is a parasite. The more they suck the life out of you, the happier they are. Yeah, I, 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 something must be wrong up here. Yeah, so whatever it is, if they're going to say something, um, and sometimes they don't really have very constructive things to say. They mean well, but in a very destructive manner. Kind of like, let, let's say if you just came today and you forgot to comb your hair. And and they could be like, oh, Keanu, your hair looks great. You could have done with with, with a hairstylist like yesterday, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're trying to be funny. They're trying to be but funny. Actually, they are trying to put you down. Yeah, they're trying to put you down, right? So if you if you can't avoid them, and they need to talk, and they they let their energy go, don't let them get to you. Next up. Yep. And I'm talking about the example with the hair remark. I think uh, mm-hmm. one of the strategies that you can use is to don't compete with them. You know, don't don't try to throw another sarcastic, sarcastic remark onto them. Oh yes, because yes, they yes, love yes, it. Yes, in, yes, inside yes. they welcome competition like that because mm-hmm. they know they are great at those games. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. stupid stupid into that, that battle. So, yeah, I I absolutely agree. So fake people who come by and when they try to do all their energy sucking uh, mechanisms, one of the things is they want to draw you into battle. Mm. So the more you battle with them, the mm-hmm. more happier they are. And technically, technically, if you beat them you are a bigger fucker yes and a major <laughs> sucker you know we we've heard we, we've all heard of the word you know uh haters gonna hate players gonna play yep suckers gonna suck, suckers gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> of 
got a story for this, but I'll probably keep it for the next episode. Okay, so um, at the end of it, um, take home message. We, we like to keep this short. We have five minutes and we're almost up. So take home message. If we've got two things that we want to, to, to let you know is number one, always identify who is the fake person that is within your realms. Mm-hmm. Once you've identified it, um, point number two, don't be afraid to take a friendship break. Yep. Don't be afraid to take a break, um, which is basically avoid. I will always say avoidance is yep. still better than, than going head on. Yep. Prevention is better than cure. Yep. Always take stock of who you are surrounding yourself with mm-hmm. and unnecessary friendships, cut them off just like the talks. Absolutely. And with that, we're going to close today's five minutes of brainless talk um, regarding how to build meaningful uh, connections. And with that, we'll see you guys next week and sign up. All right. See you next week.